All right, watch this. This is me flying in survival mode, something that every Minecraft player knows is impossible. But using one simple glitch, I figured out how to float midair, teleport other players, and much, much more. What? 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 How did he do that? What? He just started floating. What the heck? You guys are hacking, what? What? This glitch absolutely breaks the laws of Minecraft, and to abuse it to its full potential, I'm going to be using it on a YouTuber anarchy server called the Lifesteal SMP, which is known for being extremely deadly and tryhard. And here's me with some iron armor and four hearts. Now, if I wanted to stand a chance at surviving this place and being able to use my flying powers, I would need to find a team. So after this guy named Bacon Waffles messaged me, I decided to head over to his base and join his team, even giving him one of my hearts. You see, on this server, hearts are the most valuable thing because every time you kill another player, you steal one of their hearts. And because of my lack of skill, I had already died way too many times, leaving me on only three hearts. I'm literally one shot to kill, bro. Okay, here, I'll show you around the place. So basically, me and Jaren were making this. Despite my low health count, it seemed like I was accepted into the team. And with me now having two other teammates in a place to call home, I figured it would be the perfect time to start. You see, my plan was to start off simply floating in front of the other players, but then I would progress to doing more and more deadly things with the glitch. And I was totally ready to start, until my teammate said this. Are we, we're all yes. at three hearts right now, right? Yeah. So what my two new teammates forgot to mention is that they're all also on three hearts, meaning our entire team is literally one shot to kill. Bro, I should have picked better teammates. And knowing the rest of the players on the Lifesteal SMP, if we tried to pull anything with three hearts, we would be instantly killed. But with the help of Iron Golems, we were able to do hundreds of villager raids and collect all the totems from them. And using those totems, we could then craft hearts manually using the recipe. And after a straight week of grinding together, we were able to get all of us up to nine hearts. And now that we weren't as easy to kill, I decided to test out the glitch in a hide and seek game that our team got invited to. My plan was to go all the way up to height limit and then jump off and just start floating in the air, making me pretty much impossible to tag and confusing literally everyone there. Wait, who's up there? Who is that? That's Planet Lord! I'm heading up. I think they may have found me. Wait, what is- What?! Huh? How did he do that? Yeah, wait, I see Planet too. He's in the middle of the sky. Where is Parrot? Wait, guys, guys, guys. Oh, come to- Wait, we you're right there, Bacon. Bacon, look Bro, up. Bro, what? Wait, where, 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 where? Bacon, no, I see, see what that? you're talking about, yeah. No, oh my god, I see them. <laughs> Planet, why are you in the sky, bro? I am so confused. He's- I thought he was up here. No, he's just floating on air. Alright, can you guys just- Can you guys get Parrot so I win? I don't know. You're I'm bridging up to you. I'm <laughs> yeah, bridging yeah. up to you. <laughs> what? Tag, tag. GG. How are you a flying mid air, bro? Even though we lost, I still managed to completely scare everyone there. So I'd say that was a success. And on top of that, later that day, me and my teammates all got together and crafted one more heart, bringing us all up to 10. Okay. Alright, let's go! Let's go. You didn't even do it. Fly your hearts, my kid. Did we actually do it? Oh my god. Yeah, we're all at 10. Wait, wait, we, we have to stand, we have to stand in this spot. This is awesome. And seeing this made me realize how far we've come since we first met. <laughs> I think I might have got that picture. And so, after spending all this time with them, I finally thought I could trust them enough and tell them about the glitch. Because with only me, it's pretty powerful, but with all of us abusing it, we could be unstoppable. And so, I got together with both of them to finally tell them, and you guys, how to fly in survival Minecraft. Okay, get out of- get out of full screen mode, that's step number one. Okay, can you pillar up? Pillar up for me? Now I want you, you see the little white bar on the top of your screen? Where it says like Minecraft multiplayer third party server ball. Yeah, this? Yeah, I want you to right click on that. And it uh -huh. shows like minimize maximum. Alright, now look at my screen share. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> no! What in the world? Alright. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I didn't die. Bro, that's crazy! Wait, that's insane! Uh, okay, okay, wait, this is actually- Oh my god! And not even a day later, we got another perfect opportunity. Me and Bacon basically got invited to join another team in a 3v3 bridging duel. The only catch was, this was happening in the end, right over the void. So, my plan was to cheat by freezing my game every time I would get knocked off, so that my teammates would have time to place water. And combining this with slow falling potions, there's no way we're losing this. Three, oh, two, one. Okay, go, go. go, 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 go. Get a water down, get a water down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I start, I start doing the water, start doing the water sources. Oh, they're shooting at me. They're shooting at me. Alright. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Water, water, water. Oh, oh my god. Get in the water. Get in the water. Get in the water. Oh. Yeah. The water, oh. The oh my god. They got punched, bro. They got punched on Oh, what's the? That's not even allowed. Bro, what? Alright, Bacon, keep doing the infinite, infinite. Yeah, we, we definitely need waters. We definitely need waters. We, we, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Alright. You oh, can't I make ropes. infinite water sources super. Alright, you know what? I'll do it like this. Oh, I block it. Here, I got. I'll okay. try and get an infinite water source down real quick. Oh, okay. He might be dead. I can't even see him. Really? We're gonna kill Planet already? Wait, how is he? He's like floating. He's flying. Wait, what? Yeah, I see him on my screen. Am I, am I in the water? Am I good? Am I yeah, good? yeah, yeah. You're in the water. Uh, you're in okay, the water. Good. It's cold. Good. All right. I, I am on first. Yeah, you got waters. Okay, no, I don't. Oh, is... shoot. Oh. oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Um, shoot. You guys go. Right, dude. Wait, what's Planet Lord doing? <laughs> He's flying, dude. He's flying. <laughs> Oh! Oh my gosh! Bo killed you. I had to log. Even though we lost yet another competition, I didn't really mind, especially since the other team gave me my heart back after dying. But, based off the other players' reactions, this glitch was really freaking people out. So, when I saw the most powerful server member log on, I decided to head to spawn and see his reaction. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, wait. It's so wait. shiny. Let's be on equal ground, equal ground here. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> I know, right? It's crazy. I Don't love see these things. Else cool. Yeah. You, are you floating in the air? <laughs> Wait, is he doing that thing again? I don't know. <laughs> what, what is that? What Whoa, is that? I don't, don't want to see what's going on here. But just as I was about to safely escape, he said this: a, a trade offer of sorts. Would you give up a heart for a god apple? Um. A heart? And knowing Clown Pierce, I kind of realized that I didn't have a choice. But even after giving him my heart, he started attacking me. Give me that god apple. Oh my god, bro. This guy! Bro, 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 relax. Relax, relax, relax. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. You could be doing this all day. I bet you're, I bet you're getting your teammates right now, aren't you? Relax, 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 relax. I am relaxed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So I kind of underestimated how evil people on the server are, but luckily, I ran back to my base where my teammate was, so we should be safe. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, really? Dude. Oh. Bro, why? Uh, pearl out and escape. I have pearls, shoot. Oh, dude, I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. You're low? Yeah, yeah, I might die, I might die. I'm dead, I'm dead. You're dead? I'm dead, oh Bro, my what? god. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm dead. No. Dude, he's still chasing me. He's still chasing me. He's still chasing me. What do we even do? Like, I don't get it. Like, I actually don't get it. So, with us now being three hearts down, we thought it was over. But the next day, me and my teammate Jaren decided to go to spawn and hang out with another group on the server. But we were growing suspicious that they were also plotting to kill us. Okay, well, it's either that or get yeah, killed. Okay, so okay. I feel okay. like I'm, I'm learning. Mavic's coming over. Mavic's coming over. Is he Mavic's coming over. Do we yep. run? Okay. I just uh, wait, I wait just for something to happen. Here. Uh, they're all coming over here. Okay, they're shooting. Bro, just, run, bro. just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. I don't want to die again, bro. Okay, they're not chasing. Okay. Oh my god, Mapix actually chasing me. Get in the boat, get in the boat if you need. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's just people everywhere. I'm dead. Why am I dying? Wait, did, you, did I really just like take all your perks? Dude, I'm actually dead. Oh my god. I'm so dead. Oh, no, no, I don't. No, don't let your suffering. Don't let your suffering. Don't let your suffering. Oh my gosh. And soon after, they arrived at our base to finish off Bacon. Zam's here, Zam's here, Zam's here. Oh, what? They're all here, they're all here, they're all here, they're all here, oh, bro. Okay, they're all here. Okay, here. Wait, uh, I'm not yeah. ready, bro, I'm not ready. Bro! Okay, bro. and he's critting it. Oh, no, no. Bro, bro, bro not what? the villagers, not the villagers, bro. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Alright, I'm gonna die. No, 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 our base that we once thought was safe was now compromised by the rest of the city. And we're being killed by every team we came across, because they were not scared of us. So, we knew that if we wanted to change that, we would have to start doing more crazy things with the glitch. So next, instead of simply floating in the air, our plan is to scare people by literally shooting up in the sky.
How is this possible? Well, using this glitch not only makes you fly, but also freezes your game entirely. Meaning that all the things that happen to your character while you're frozen don't happen until you unfreeze. And while normally TNT launchers make you shoot up in the air instantly, if I freeze my game right before the TNT explodes, I can literally wait as long as I want and then unfreeze. Making it seem as if I'm shooting up in the air with literally nothing. So when me and Bacon saw that all of our enemies who had previously killed us were online, we decided to try it out and see the reaction. But if they killed us or even saw us setting it up, the whole trick would be ruined. They're thinking, bro, they want to kill me right now so bad. Dude, they they're really ops, bro. Let's not set up right next to spawn. Yeah. They want to kill no, that's us. That's what I'm saying. Let's go, go follow me. All right, let's do this. Here, are you in the area? Yeah, I'm right here. All right. All right, let's do this fast. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Uh, shoot, I only have nine. Uh, where nine that? TNT or nine, nine dispensers? dispensers. Uh, oh, I got five. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Here, start placing the redstone if you have it. Here, I drop, I drop redstone. All right. Bro, if they see us, it's gonna be really annoying. All right, it's filled up. Uh, do you have help water, make a water source? All right. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna wait. Wait. wait right. Break the shulker. Back. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 I am. I'm frozen. Okay. All right. Go. 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 Break. 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 All right. All right. Now I gotta go. Now we gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Keep the platform. Actually, no, no. Make it. Make it one block. Make it the platform just one block. So it's like a pillar kind of. Just one block. Okay. We're ready. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Tell them. Tell them to come to you. Alright. Um, Alright, tell him to pull you. You are about to see the magician. Zam. Say abracadabra. Say abracadabra. Abracadabra. <laughs> Alright. Th three. three. Uh, I mean, the two. One. Go! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what oh, the? <laughs> He's so confused. Okay, run, 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 run. Just run, just run. What, was what just happened? Turn off hacks. What just, just happened? running now. What just happened? Despite our plan working, something felt off about the whole thing. They seemed almost worried about something that was just a harmless trick. That, I, hope I hope that was enjoyed. hacks, bro. What I did he do? Hacks. He jumped like 30 feet into the air. What do you mean? By, this by, is such an issue. The open Sam. world. Mm -hmm. if, it, if it wasn't, if it, it was a hack, player, we'll ask. Okay. But I don't think it and was. And weirdest of all, why didn't they kill us? Every other interaction that we've had had resulted in violence, but this time something was different. Almost as if they didn't want us to die. And as they kept following us from behind, I couldn't help but think that something big was coming. Whatever, I'm probably overthinking it anyways. So next, we decide to trick even more people with this glitch. And when Parrot asked us to go check out his airplane that he made, we knew that this would be the perfect opportunity. Dude, this is a flying machine. Really? Do I come up there too? Yeah, he's making a flying machine and calling it Parrot Airlines. I think we can show him something a little cooler than this. Hop in, uh, you, can, you can take first class. You can take first class. This one? Nah, Planet Airlines is so much better. Do you agree, Bacon? Should we show him Planet Airlines? Oh, we might have to. I don't know, this flight is, I mean, it's all right. It's a little rickety. Uh, I mean, no, no, no. Just wait, just wait until you guys get your first meal. Go with some, some food. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it go? Oh, it worked. Okay. We knew that he was going to try to knock us off at any point, but we were prepared. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, that was a nice throw. No, yeah, yeah I'm sure. Bro, what are you? What was that about, bro? No. What are you doing? Wait, 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 look at planet. Look at planet, oh, bro. Oh. Vortex. Hey, what just happened? What planet, are you cheating? That? What was it? Why did they like do that? I know, right? Do you guys want to see planet airlines? Mm, sure. Okay, 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 okay. Come, come back to the island. So what about our, what about our prime plane? <laughs> nah, we, we're too rich. We can make another. Um, alright, I don't know if you guys want to see Planet Airlines, but yeah, come back down to the island over here. Yeah, okay. just, Bacon, tell me when we're ready for launch off. Alright, I'll give you a T-minus. Jaren, get out of the way real quick. Oh my god, bro. 
Your thorns are so I annoying. I don't think Jaren can hear you because he's not in the call. <laughs> hey, hey, now he can hear me, dude. We have like telepathy. Wait, can you do a spin real quick? Like maybe three times. Spin three times. I'm gonna, I'll... Three. All right, now say ready for liftoff in chat. Ready for liftoff. In chat. In chat. It doesn't really work if you say it in oh. real. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, liftoff. Huh? Wait, wait, what? Wait. Run, run, run. All wait, right, bye guys. What? <laughs> Dude, that was so good. <laughs> what the heck did I? Bro, Man, how did you do that? What? Bro, he's cheating. No, he's hacking. I'd say that went great, and we managed to completely freak them out. No, I have no clue. I've never seen that. But the more we use this trick on people... Oh, what? <laughs> How? How? The more I started thinking about what happened earlier with our enemies. And even worse, I started noticing beds missing in our base. And if this meant what I thought it did, then we were facing up against a spawn trap. Then again, I'm probably just overthinking it. I mean... There's no way that they're gonna spawn trap us, right? But the next day, when I showed up to spawn, I saw this! And judging by the fact that all of our enemies were online, I knew they did this. Clearly, flying wasn't enough to scare them, and they were definitely planning something against us. But if I could just find a way to escape, maybe we can... Oh. Relax! Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. oh. Don't kill me! But since my bed wasn't set at my base, I had one more shot at escaping. But first, I just needed my stuff back. And it seems like they're actually giving stuff. it back to me. He's right there. Scared. Are you looking through his stuff? There's stuff to steal right now. No, I'm keeping it. My inventory's full. Yo, bro, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. It's here to save the day. Yeah, Jaren, can you I just want my forward? stuff back. Yeah, Jaren, can you just Did it work? Did it work? There it worked, there it worked. Yeah, Jaren, can you almost go forward? Guys, come to spawn! Come to spawn! Come to spawn, guys! Come to spawn! Come back! Wait, what is Oh, God. Bro, they actually- It's actually like Guardian. How do- <laughs> what, what if I just sit here breaking it? Uh... What mining fatigue do we have? Mining fatigue 3? <laughs> How long to obsidian with what? mining fatigue? Okay, let's assess the situation here. We're in a giant obsidian box around spawn with literally no escape. There's a guardian somewhere around here, meaning we have mining fatigue 3. Let's see how long it takes to break a single block with 25.7 hours to break one piece. Not only that, but the same people who created this prison and have murdered us countless times are now the guards of this place, making sure that we literally cannot escape. Like, how do you actually get out? You can't. you can't. It's not. There's. It's not possible. That's the point. <laughs> Mining fatigue and like three week. and three thick obsidian. It'll take you like a month straight. We even tried killing each other, only to spawn right back in the prison. I don't think flying's gonna get us out of this one. But not all hope was lost, because we still had Bacon, the last teammate who hadn't been put in the prison yet. So we started to strategize and escape. Okay. So set a 60 hours timer, and put a weight on your right click button. Then disconnect glitch out of the lava. Disconnect? Go oh, so okay, I know what that means. Take 60 hours. <laughs> the more we thought, the more impossible the prison seemed to escape. Until an idea came to us. I don't get it, I don't if get me it. me and some other people break our beds and then jump through the end portal, we can get inside of the box. Oh my god. Bro, that's <laughs> insane. That's actually insane. They have, oh, have no idea. And then you have a pickaxe. Oh my god. You see, since the prison was in spawn chunks, the only way to get in is to die with no set spawn, meaning you lose all your items. However, going through an end portal also sends you to wherever your spawn is, but with all your items. So if Bacon could go in the end portal without a set spawn, he would end up right in the prison with all the items that we could ever need to escape. Right? But here's the thing, what if they're patrolling them? Okay, take off all my armor, go invis- But when they came to taunt us, they gave us an even better idea. Hey! Oh, I see what they're doing. What are oh, they wait, doing? Oh, wait, wait! You bring us chorus fruit! <laughs> you don't even have to oh, bring yeah. anything! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we eat chorus fruit and we're gone. So, if Bacon drops us chorus fruit, eating it will instantly teleport us out. But some of the weaker players who logged on during this time were also killed by them and put right in the prison. And because we didn't want to leave them behind, we let them in on the plan. And when the time was right, we got ready to escape. And I cannot tell you how nervous I was, because if this plan fails, we're basically going to be stuck in here forever, meaning I won't be able to use the flying glitch anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, immediately splash, Invis and water breathing. You guys should be kind of clumped up. Yeah, we're clumped up. We're clumped up. Oh, yeah. Invis and water breathing. Yeah. I might also, I might just not spawn in here. So that means I should put coarse fruit in here. Okay. 
oh my, my heart is beating so fast. I know, right? All right, Leo, get ready to. St you're not gonna have to stay. This probably. I don't really care Yo, if I. Tell die. me when oh, to put the bed back. Tell me when to put the bed back. Yeah, that's the right. first thing you need to say. I'm gonna jump in in three, two, one. This is so not gonna work. <gasps> oh my God, I'm here. Oh my God, I'm here, so I'm put here, the here. bed back. Okay. Put the bed back. Put the bed back. Put the bed back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. No access, so, no access. okay. I'm splashing now. I'm gonna splash now. Okay. Course route. Course route. Course route. Right. Course route. One. All right. Two. I got two. Oh, they're um, stacking. Uh, three. Okay. I got two. And then one pearl. There's one more. Wait, wait, wait. I need chorus. I didn't get chorus. Oh, yeah, I need chorus. You didn't get chorus. Drop some chorus. Drop some chorus. I didn't get e-pearls. I didn't get e-pearls. Yeah, I'm gonna, not everyone's gonna get e-pearls. I'm sorry. All right. There's food. I got e-pearls. Uh, pickaxe. Right, just, I need chorus. I'm literally stuck in here. You guys, give give yeah, yeah. chorus. Drop, yeah, drop, I drop. I drop chorus. I drop chorus. I drop chorus. I drop chorus. No, I need, right, I, need, I need some, I need some. Someone, someone. I dropped it, I dropped Bed. it. Bed. Bed. We're coming in. Guys, they oh, they're here. Oh, e um, e they're here. Eat, 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 eat. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Run, 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 run. I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm in the water thing. I'm in the tunnel. I'm in the tunnel. I'm in the tunnel. I'm in the tunnel. Okay. I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the cave. I'm in the cave. I'm in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. Now get 200 blocks away. Oh my god, I'm in the ocean. Jaren, Jaren, it leads to the ocean. I mean, the lake. I might have messed up. Which way? Which way? Uh, uh. Go go down. The, did Vortex, you go down the staircase? Down? Like in the staircase? Is everyone yeah, out? I went down the staircase, but I'm really far down. Running, keep running. Everyone just run over 200 blocks and we win. Yeah. Oh uh, wait, no. Yeah, all right, everybody, really make your way. Time. Once you get far away, make your way to negative a thousand, negative 300. Thousand, negative 300. Come on, baby. That was so close. Zam literally saw me eat. That was terrifying. Negative, oh, negative, 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 negative. Mostly. Make sure we're not one. being followed, by the way. Like, turn off your. Just use tab. Use tab. Uh, yeah, I turned off my. Oh, right. Hello. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait all, you guys set your spawns? Yes, we did. In some random I didn't place. yet. I haven't. Okay. Uh, clutch. Um. Just yeah. I see your guys' name tags. All right, sick. Bacon. Oh my God. Oh, we did it. We got out of prison. Oh my God. We're out, bro. Oh, 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 oh. We had all gotten out safely and even got our hearts back. However, we knew it was only a matter of time before our enemies would strike back. And because they already knew where our base was, it was not a safe place to be. So we had to finally say goodbye to the original base that we had. No place to start except for right here. Go, go! It was a good run. It was, it was a really good run. But I think it's time to move on. So we went thousands of blocks away, creating a completely new base from scratch, fully underground. And after finishing it up, I thought about what I said in the prison. Also, after this, we're getting the, the craziest revenge, all right? Like after this, like we're not letting this slide, guys. So if I wanted to get revenge against them, it was gonna take a lot more than simply flying in front of them, which means we have to move on to stage three of my plan. And after a lot of experimenting, what oh the yeah actual the, okay so then the book we had just accidentally discovered something that i didn't even think was possible in survival minecraft and this was a great start for my plan but i couldn't just keep finding stuff on my own because this glitch is so simple there must be some other people online also talking about this right so i began doing research googling asking in discords and looking through tons of forums but no matter what i did i found absolutely no help Searching Minecraft Freezing Glitch mostly came up with tech issue fixes, and when I did find something remotely similar, it was either years ago or completely dismissed as useless. I did find some clips of people flying in minigames using a similar glitch, but nothing that would actually help me. And with every search, I grew closer and closer to the realization that I was going to be on my own figuring this out. So I began testing with friends, and kept track of everything on a document. And I found some pretty crazy no things. Way. Things that shouldn't even oh be possible in Minecraft. God. But most importantly, things that could actually kill other players. Players. And so, after tons of testing with the glitch, we found the perfect trap. You see, we found that when you freeze your game while being the passenger of a boat, the game gets confused on where you're actually meant to be. And so, when you unfreeze, it literally teleports you back to where you first froze. Now this is already cool, but the best part about this is that if someone gets in the boat with you while you're doing the same thing, they get teleported with you. With this in mind, we created a setup where I would freeze in an obsidian box in the sky and bacon would drop me in a place that looked completely innocent. And whenever someone when got in the boat, I could unfreeze, literally teleporting them into the trap. From there, I could use an ender pearl stasis chamber to teleport my teammate into the box. And with the server finally removing all its restrictions on things like netherite and strength potions, we could literally kill our target in seconds. Essentially, we created a trap so powerful, the second someone gets in the boat, they're already dead. 
But throughout all this, our other teammate Jaren had been online for hours at a time, but we had no idea what he was doing. So I asked him what he'd been up to, and he told me his idea for revenge against our enemies. <laughs> God, what is this? So the whole idea is one day I was like, you want to be a really funny video is if I got the world record amount of pigs. Like they would get so annoyed and be so laggy that they'd be like, we can't put up with this anymore. So, and even though I thought this revenge idea was hilarious, I was still a bit worried, especially since he said that Epic and Roe got pretty mad. If they were killing us before we did anything, then what would they do after Jaren did his plan? And soon enough, I got my answer. You and me, 1v1 tonight, loser gets banned? This is a message Jaren received from our enemies, basically challenging him to a fight to the death. You see, on this server, you can get banned by losing all your hearts, so I knew that Jaren had to win this or he would be gone forever. However, after training and practicing PvP, I knew that we were just delaying the inevitable. I mean, Rochambeau was one of the best PvPers on the server, and after they found a place to fight, I couldn't do anything but watch as he lost the fight. He got his final heart taken and was banned off the server forever. I guess I should have known that such a simple revenge against them wouldn't end well. So I knew the boat trick was my one and only shot at finally getting back at them. So we started building the obsidian box. Okay, floor is now two blocks thick. Alright, and then I guess we make the walls too thick. Okay, um, so where's the opening gonna be? Is this the opening? Yeah, I think so. I think this is a- this is a start, like where- where he's gonna teleport to and then the opening. But as we finished building, I started thinking about the purpose of it all. I mean, even if we did kill one of our enemies at the trap, they would just come back even stronger. So we decided that we were gonna focus on someone who couldn't just come back. You see, on this server, you can craft a special item called a beacon of life, which costs over 5 hearts, more than half of our health bar. However, it has a very special use that would be a lot more valuable than revenge. So we decided that this trap would not be used for revenge on our enemies, but to gain 5 hearts to get the beacon of life. And before Jaren was banned, he saved us 2 hearts to work with. So we only needed 3 kills. Okay, Rec responded, Rec responded! Okay, we, we need to do the first run first. Remember to load it? Okay, alright, I'm ready. Yo! Hello. Yo, what's up Rec Rap? Should we explain the, the thing? So basically... This boat tour is a loop around spawn with different destinations, and at the end, there's a big surprise. And I think okay, that you're gonna cool. like this. I mean, why isn't okay, this, this a trap? Okay, like, this we gotta be, start with okay. the obvious ones, because I mean, like, you just okay, do a boat tour. he asked me this tour. when I was doing my thingy. <laughs> I remember this. How do we answer this? All right. It's okay. Let's, let's just go. Let's go. Right. Oh my god. You guys are- wait, wait. First, can I say- sorry, I didn't even react. You guys are wizards! What? How the actual? What is this? This is hell. Welcome to hell, Red Crab. This is so bad. How's your day going? Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Like, I can't be mad, but I feel so bad that like I just couldn't do anything. That's the best part. Like, actually, I felt so helpless. With that kill, we were now one heart closer to crafting the special item. And even though we felt a little bad for trapping all these random people, we still really needed this item. And seeing how successful this trap was, we were more motivated than ever. So we reset it and got some more people. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, Cube? Uh, you're doing boat tours? Uh, the... oh, oh, it's a boat tour, oh? I just have, to... I have a feeling I'm gonna die. <laughs> How right. dangerous can a boat tour be? Yeah, yeah I see you, I see you. I Yo. See you. Do I get in the tour with Planet Lord? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the Planet tour Lord guy. The tour guy. He's really good at it. Okay, sweet. I'm so the boat tour. I think. Yeah, let's just go on the boat tour. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. What? What happened? Welcome, well, Cube. Welcome. And while we could have killed them right then and there, we decided to have some fun. Welcome to hell. Uh, we have some redstone trivia for you. Okay. All right. So, we were talking, and we were watching some of the terrain content, okay? Yeah, just keep in mind, you're in an obsidian <laughs> box with no escape. Yep. yep. Uh, yeah, what is the name a redstone contraption that turns a long signal into a short signal? Uh, we need cave only 300 days. <laughs> a monostable circuit? Monostable circuit, alright! Oh, That's shit. one point for okay. Mr. Q! Okay. Do you even know the answer to these problems, or are you just like, oh yeah? You're can laughing. I, can this I... isn't. This isn't a joke. Okay. Can I give you like something like some bad news? Redstone question number two. And if you get this wrong, bad things will happen. Okay. What contraption was used to get you in this box? It's not a redstone contraption, right? 
Oh, oh he got it right. He got it right. He got it right. Wait, wait. Okay. 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 Yeah. And it we did not need work. cave only. We you need, need cave, cave only. only. What is the oldest redstone block added to Minecraft? The oldest redstone item added to Minecraft? Yeah. It would obviously be redstone dust. Nope, that's not. Nope, that's just wrong. incorrect. That's a lie. I'm sorry. Only world. Hundred days. Uh oh. Aww. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> was it a cog? Was it a cog? I don't know, man. I was lying. <laughs> Bro, what the this is pretty sick, though. Like, honestly, I have absolutely no idea how you managed to do this. I know you're you're pretty into magic. I mean, you were floating the other day. Oh yeah. I I, I had a feeling I was gonna die. Anyway, I'm yeah. really not mad. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, we feel yeah, we've no, been feeling just... really bad, but like it's such a cool glitch. We have to use it. Now that we got the last two hearts needed for the beacon, we got Jaren into the call. Oh my gosh, what convenient timing. <laughs> I'm here. Hello, yeah, Jaren. Because a beacon of life's special ability is that it can revive any player who's previously been banned. And now that we were able to craft it, we could bring him back onto the server. And after getting the rest of the minor materials, we crafted the beacon of life. Okay, so we make a recovery compass. Alright, now we need the hearts. Oh my god. Okay. Now, a three obsidian on the bottom, and then a compass in the middle, and then hearts all around. Okay. Okay, the beacon of life. Okay. Okay, let's do it, 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 let's do it. But again, something fell off. Every single one of our enemies were online, and they were sending weird and ominous messages in chat. And if I remember correctly, Jaren still had his spawn set at the arena. If this meant what I thought it did, then we were facing up against a spawn trap. And this time, we weren't just overthinking it. God, where's, where's where, where Jaren? Where are you? Place the fence down! Oh, sh- Oh, God. Okay. You? Um... Why does this always happen? But if we wanted to save our teammate, we would have to break his bed so he could safely spawn at the server spawn. But that was gonna be a lot harder than we thought. There's a giant obsidian box around the bed. Of course. Wait, wait, okay. Jiren, Jiren, get ready, get ready, get ready. Wait, wait, get ready. I am ready to log in. Just say go and I'll log in. Log in, log in, log in, log in. He's right there. Try to right now. Log in. Log in. Oh, he's right there. Okay, okay. We know where the bed is. All around you. Respawn. 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 Yeah, respawn. Bro, we respawned in the box again. I'm trapped Wait, I'm in the box, I'm in the box. Where's the bed? The they put fake beds. They literally put fake beds everywhere. Yeah, they're, they're definitely behind you. <sighs> okay, this is incredibly stressful. I'm actually so stressed. Oh, oh I placed, alright. Respawn, respawn, respawn. Didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work. Shoot, work. shoot. Okay, but respawn again. Respawn again in a second. I can't, I can't. Okay, respawn now, respawn now, respawn now. Respawn now. I'm still in the box. Bro, what? I got one heart. I'm one heart. Okay, bro. What is going on, bro? Important not to where he's spawning in. I need to get the force. Chug, chug, chug. Thank you for that. Yeah, Astro. Yeah, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. Oh, no. I'm gonna do one last try. No, then you're gonna die. Don't. There's no point in doing one last try. Oh, we have to. 66, okay, okay. 66, 66. Well, we lost all of our stuff. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Well, chat. I think that's the end of this. On four hearts! And you're- we, we, we just lost everything in the matter of like five seconds. Yeah. But this wasn't the end. The next day, we logged in when no one else was online so we could safely let Jaren spawn in. No, I- can I click respawn? Yeah, click respawn. What? Uh, uh, I'm on glass. Oh, I'm at, I'm at spawn. Someone's here! That's planet! <laughs> I am an idiot. I'm gonna punch you. All right, and go into the nether, go into the nether. But instead of going to our new base, which we probably should have, we decided to meet up at a place that we used to call home. All right, here we are. We then gave Jaren our remaining hearts, bringing him up to three and us also to three. And while me and Bacon probably could have used the glitch to get up to 20 hearts or become extremely powerful, it wouldn't have been the same without our teammate. And if it means being on three hearts again, so be it. They can take our hearts, but we weren't gonna let them take our friend. I am on let's the go. Let's go. All right. On the way. Bro, what?